In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can reach out to anyone in the world and make a meaningful connection with them. First thing you gotta do is pick the right people. How do you know who to contact? Well, it's people you admire, not just what they've accomplished, not just how many followers they have. It's people where you admire their values. And you wanna learn how to drill into those values more yourself. And you wanna learn a skill that they possess. You wanna pick people who you can explain why you connect with them in a way that most people don't. I love music that is lyrically dense. People who are clever with their words. People like Logic, Lin-Manuel Miranda, Alec Benjamin. And so unlike most people, that's the thing that I admire. And so when I reach out to musicians, that's the thing that I wanna learn how to get better at. I'm not just reaching to them because their music touched me. I'm reaching out to them because I admire their craft. And if you can communicate that well, people respect that and they will wanna to talk to you, they will wanna coach you. One person who's a good example is Connor Price. He's a really fantastic rapper and he's just very, very lyrically clever. So I went on Instagram, I looked at his name and, and just, I sent him a cold message. Hey Connor, I've been listening to your music a lot lately and I'm enamored by your flow and your word choice. Right, very specific. Your lyrics remind me a bit of a mix between Lin-Manuel Miranda, Alec Benjamin, and John Bellion. I love this video that you made in particular. This is a video from like five, six years ago and he was just started. And I specifically asked him if he would you know, spend a little bit of time coaching me. And he responded and he went from there. There's a couple of easy principles. The first one is find their email, find their Instagram, find their LinkedIn, and message them on all the platforms. Next is make it very short, no more than four sentences. And in the first sentence, tell them three reasons why you think they're awesome, specific reasons. Three things that make you awesome, and then why you want to meet with them. And then suggest a specific time for a call, ideally a Zoom call, and suggest two days and two times on each one of those days for the call. An example would be if you're messaging an athlete, hey, I really admire the way in which you do this specific move. Uh, I've been trying to learn it for years. I can do this move, this move, and this move, but haven't figured out it for X, Y, Z reason. Would love to have a quick Zoom call to get to know you. Could you be free 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. PST on Monday the 23rd or Thursday the 25th? And if they don't respond, follow up. So this is another creator who I really admired his flow when it comes to movement. And I was like, this guy is fantastic. So let me just send him a message. Your staff video just now is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. What's the name of that move? And do you have a couple of tips for how to pull that off? It looks unbelievable. So there I shared like an example of me doing the exact same thing, attempting, but just less good than him, right? And then he's like, hey, my, I appreciate it. Boom, started a conversation. So that's how to do it online. But what if you meet someone awesome in person? It's as simple as going up to them and just saying, hi, hi, my name is Cliff. I admire this thing about you. Can you tell me more about it? And then they'll tell you. Also always leave with either their phone number or their email so you can keep the connection going. So then how do you connect with people on a deeper level, whether it's normal friends or people that you meet that you admire? There's two main things people bond over, ambition and vulnerability. So if you share an ambition and you explain why you're excited about something, people gravitate towards that. Secondly, is if you have a vulnerability, people gravitate towards that too, because you feel very open, you're a real person. So for me, you know, it might be my experience with dyslexia. It might be my experience, you know, learning English when I was young, whatever it might be, you have your own vulnerabilities. Share that with people. And though it might feel better to hide those things, don't. Find a way to share them with the world. It'll make people gravitate towards you. If you could share something that you're self-conscious about, people really admire that in you. So even if you haven't accomplished a crazy amount of things, if you share something that you are self-conscious about, but you own it, people really admire that. So three things to remember. Number one, know yourself. Know where you're strong and where you fall short and stick to your strengths. Own your weaknesses. Don't be self-deprecating in your humor. Own your weakness. And lastly, and most importantly, don't take it personally. If things don't work out, that's fine. There's thousands of people out there who are amazing. And every no, you should love no, because every 99 no's lead to one yes. Don't be afraid to follow up. Just do it politely. If one person doesn't respond to you, it doesn't mean that everybody else won't. If you want to learn more about how to build relationships, I highly recommend How to Win Friends by Dale Carnegie. You can just search for the free PDF online and then upload it to the Speechify iPhone app and you can listen to the audiobook. It's amazing. The other thing you can do is watch this video we made about how to make friends. And with that, happy listening.